If you guys are tired of grinding my career all day just to get your badges or overall, make sure you guys go ahead and hit up Goat Plugged for the cheapest and fastest, most legit badge service on NBA 2K20. If you guys need cheap MT or VC for NBA 2K20, make sure you guys hit up ZTU.com. Their link will be in the description down below. Again, that's ZTU.com. Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and today's video I have you I have you guys a different type of VC glitch slash method. This glitch is gonna be for people that don't want to actually do the rec center glitch. Maybe you're worried about your your record or maybe you just don't wanna take the, the chance of getting banned. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys this little VC glitch slash method. And like I said, it's not, I guess I wouldn't really call it a glitch, but it's still a really easy way to get double VC. I'm not even gonna hide my gamer tag because this is actually in the game. So I don't see how 2K could actually ban anyone for doing this. So before I get into the video, make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub. Again, this video is just for all the people that want to, want to get fast VC or maybe you just got the game for Christmas. And you, if you haven't noticed yet, getting VC on this game is extremely hard without having to buy it, which it really shouldn't be that way, especially after you probably already spent $60 on the game. So make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub. I'm running this giveaway on all of my videos. If this video hits 500 likes, Make sure you guys comment down below your Instagram or Twitter. Let me know if you're on PS4 or Xbox. If this video hits 500 likes, I'll pick and choose somebody out of the comment section and send them a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. You guys already know that I'm looking out for Nota Gang. I'm on that 10k grind. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. It really, I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So before I start this glitch, I wanted to show you guys how much VC I have. So this is my current VC. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is just uh, you want to go ahead and go to the uh, NBA 2K20 main menu and you also want to make sure that you already have a player that you have created. So you're going you guys are going to want to you guys are going to want to need to like make a new player every time you do this glitch. So again, it's gonna work best if you do it on a new player. So you can see right here, I have a glass cutting lockdown power forward. I'll probably never actually use him. I'm just using it for the glitch. So you only have to make a new player one time. So that makes this a little bit faster. And then also you might wanna make like a power forward or small forward just so you don't have to worry about throwing the ball in or having to bring the ball up the court if that makes sense, but I'll show you guys what I mean in one moment. And then you also want to look on your My Player Nation game and see, My, My Player Nation tab and see what games are available so you get the double VC. So right now I know that Detroit has a game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down here and then I'm just going to go to start my career. And then I'm going to select on the glass cleaning lockdown and then it's going to allow me to go directly to the NBA. Somebody try to tell me that it costs you 500 VC every time you do this, would, which would basically just make the glitch pointless. But I just tried this on three different players and it never charged me 500 VC, so I have no idea where that came from. But um, once you get this screen right here, you just want to go ahead and uh, skip directly to the NBA, so you can hit yes right here. And then from here, it's going to ask you to pick a team. So you're going to want to make sure that you pick a team that has a My Player Nation game available, and you can view that just by loading up any other player and looking at the tab. So I know that the Detroit Pistons have a game available, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to choose them. Alright, so you get to the screen right here. So right here, this is the My Player Nation tab, and this is where you can see who has games available. Um, keep in mind, if you see like the W, that means that that game has already been played. You want to make sure that the team that you choose has a percent beside their name. So what you want to do is just go ahead and play the game. So the key to doing this is you want to get five fouls as fast as possible, but you don't want to foul out. So you want to get five fouls and then you want to play at least six minutes. If you play, if you don't play six minutes and then you foul out, you won't get any VC. So you have to play at least six minutes and you want to make sure you get to the second half. So you're going to get, like I said, five fouls as fast as possible. And then um, generally after you get the first two, you actually uh, get subbed out and then it will put you um, close, I think close to the end, it'll put you at the start of the second quarter. So for, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna foul uh, two more times, which will put me at five fouls. And then like I said, after that, you want to play uh, at least six minutes. 
So you can actually check and see how many minutes you play by hitting start. So if I hit start right now, if you look under minutes, it'll say one. You wanna make sure that you get your last foul once you get to the six minute mark. So I'll show you guys me getting my last foul, then I'll also show you guys me getting my VC as well. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got my five fouls. Now from here, you don't really have to do anything. Like, like I said, this glitch is good for people who are worried really about getting banned or maybe you care about your rec center, uh, your rec center record. As far as like getting VC, you, you, you're gonna get double VC whenever you do this. So I don't really know if this is faster than the rec center glitch or not. I feel like they're about the same, but at least this way you're getting double VC. So I don't really know, but I wanted to bring you guys both mess methods. So from here, you can just chill. Like you don't have to move. You can like play on your phone or maybe do this while you're doing homework. I know a lot of you guys might be on Christmas break, but, um, or just whenever you have other things to do, like I said, you don't even have to move. So now you just want to wait until you see like under the minute tab, you want to make sure that that gets to six minutes. And as soon as it does, you can foul out and you'll still get the VC. So I'll show you guys that in one moment. All right, so as you guys can see, I hit the six minute mark and then I have my, my five foul. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and then as soon as he throws a ball inbounds, I'm gonna go ahead and foul out. And then whenever you do this right here, um, you'll be, it'll just ask you to send out with VC and then the game will basically end. You'll get to like to this little end point right here. It'll show like the last few minutes of the game counting down. And then whenever this happens, um, you know, the game will just be over and then you basically fouled out and you only played six minutes and just keep in mind the My Player Nation games are double VC. So I'm just going to show you guys, I don't, I don't really know how I got any of my points because I literally didn't do anything, but you can see right here, here's my VC earned. I was able to get, you know, a thousand VC for basically not doing anything. I'm just going to show you guys that it does does add up. So um, once you get to the screen right here, you can just go ahead and hit advanced. And then I'm just going to go over to my player appearance in the animation store. I feel like this is the only place where I'm able to view my VC. Like <laughs> you guys can let me know if there's a faster screen where you can actually view it at. But you can see right here, my VC uh, went up by a thousand. I didn't lose 500 VC for making a new player. So again, guys, you can keep spamming this over and over again. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna back out of this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load up the NBA 2K20 main menu once again so I can keep spamming this over and over again. All right, so to repeat this uh, method slash gl glitch, you just wanna reload back in the NBA 2K20 main menu. Like I said, you don't even have to make a new player. You can just use that old Dutter file that we've been using. So you can just go all the way down, start new my career, and again, you can just use that same file. And again, I believe using a power four or small four just makes this, e makes this easier. So you don't have to worry about throwing the ball in or have to worry about bringing the ball up if you're a point guard. Whenever you're waiting for a time to expire, you can just chill. So uh, skip directly to the NBA and then pick a team that has a mild player nation game available. And again, I know that Detroit still has one available, so that's who I pick. And then you just wanna go ahead and you wanna load up that mild player nation game. So um, once the game starts, you just wanna get five fouls as fast as possible and then after you get those five fouls, you just wanna make sure that you make it to the second half and then you wanna make sure that you played six minutes in total. Um, I try to do this, um, I try to play only five minutes just to see if I could speed up the glitch them and it did not work. You have to play at least six minutes of the game and then you have to be at least in the third quarter. So keep that in mind, but other than that, I mean, it is pretty fast and easy VC. Every time you do this, you're getting a thousand VC. Whenever you do the rec center glitch, um, I believe you're only getting like 400 or 500. So for this method, you are getting double. However, this method is gonna take a little bit longer. So like I said, I don't really know which one is faster, but this way, um, one, you're not really doing a glitch, and then two, you don't have to worry about um, taking L's on your rec center glitch, uh, rec center me um, player, and then you also um, don't have to worry about losing your overall. 
So once you, like I said, once you've gotten 5 fouls and you played 6 minutes in the third quarter, go ahead and foul out and whenever you do the game will end and you can see here I was able to get my VC once again. Now in the middle of recording this video I did play some, uh, I did stream park so you guys can see I have a little bit more VC than what I showed you guys before. But yeah man, um, if you do this it's just a thousand VC every time you do it. So super easy and super simple, drop a like, drop a sub. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. I really do appreciate it. Enter my giveaway. I'm out. Peace.